let's take a look at responses to an FMLA request. Employers presented with requests for time off related to parental or medical issues must carefully consider whether the leave is required under the FMLA and respond promptly. The FMLA envisions a cooperative dialogue, a real interactive process between employers and employees through which a balance of needs can be struck. Most litigation arising under the FMLA results from a breakdown of that dialogue. However, this dialogue must proceed from the basic premise that employees have an entitlement to leave under the FMLA. Generally, employers do not have the right to deny or to delay FMLA leave. Thus, a court held that an employer's effort to get an employee to delay a continuous period of leave until a less busy time could constitute interference with FMLA rights, even though the employer subsequently relented. The DOL regulations call for employers to provide written notice to employees requesting that the leave is being designated as an FMLA leave, generally within five business days after notification of the need for leave. The Supreme Court has said that the DOL cannot punish employers who fail to provide timely notification by not allowing them to count the days of leave against an employee's maximum entitlement, but their basic principle remains. Employers are responsible for promptly designating leave as FMLA leave and for informing employees of their rights under the FMLA. The DOL has forms that employers can use to provide the required notices and employers should generally use them.